it is a, a massive milestone, not only for us, but for the, for the industry. And we know to be a leader, we have to, to be the first. We well, the first in having a truly driverless truck take the road on its own with nobody inside. Yeah, the company Too Simple made history right here in Arizona with their self-driving semi traveling from Tucson to Phoenix along the I-10. So that is where we find our David Cattabiano tonight. David, what do we know about this historic trip? Jamie, this is uh, pretty remarkable. This is a fully autonomous semi. It drove 80 miles from Tucson to Phoenix. And there was some law enforcement that followed the truck along the way to make sure everything was okay. Everything went just fine. There was no human intervention. The CEO says this is a major milestone for an emerging industry that could really help with the supply and chain issues that we saw this year. This is not your ordinary semi because it can drive all by itself. We had literally one instance where I think some other big truck driver passed us and it slowed down because he realized there wasn't anybody in the cabin. <laughs> you know? San Diego based Too Simple kept track as the truck followed its route along the I-10 from Tucson to Phoenix. The 80 mile trip took a little more than an hour to complete. Chen Lu is the company's CEO. If you think about it, you're operating a truck that is 80,000 pounds, driving 65 miles an hour, uh, navigating both surface streets and highways. Lou says this stretch of interstate is ideal for the first driverless route. Unmarked law enforcement vehicles supervise the entire trip, trailing half a mile behind the autonomous 18-wheeler. I-10 is the busiest corridor for Class A trucks. I think the significance of this is not only the technology side, but really this is a full commercial route. You know, we went from a terminal uh, onto a highway and back into a very busy uh, distribution center. The business has 70 self-driving trucks that have already racked up millions of miles. The CEO believes this emerging industry could be a solution to the supply chain issues we've seen this year. The only way you can create new freight capacity to solve the supply chain constraints is to uh, not have drivers. Today is a major step towards that. Yeah, and the CEO says uh, that was the first of many test drives that they're gonna have on the I-10. He says that you're gonna see a fully operational, commercial autonomous fleet in just the next three years. The company's goal, he says, is not to replace the trucking industry, but to work in partnership with them, Jared.